What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut and Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So part 2 of the 250 million down celebration has officially begun and there is a ton of news for us to go through so why don't we just jump right into it. Here we go. Let's take a look at this news release on top here. Worldwide celebration, super challenge campaign is on. Let's be honest guys, this artwork up here looks freaking amazing. Damn. Alright, number 1. Premium Movie Part 2 now available, you guys will have seen it if you logged in for the first time today, and it looks pretty dope. Number 2, Co-op Dokkan Supreme Challenge Battle. So this is basically the Super Shenron slash Super Dragon Balls event that a lot of people were speculating about for the past couple of days, and uh, I'll talk more in depth about it when we get to its own new section, but honestly I think a few people are going to be a little bit disappointed about what this turned out to be, and it's not that it's a bad campaign, it's actually pretty solid. I just think that some people had some pretty crazy, crazy expectations for what the Super Dragon Balls would actually do. So if you think you're one of those people, then make sure you're prepared for that. Alright, number three, Special Extreme Z Battle is on. Of course, this is the Extreme Z Battle for Jiren. And if you guys want a more in-depth breakdown of what the event is all about, you can actually check out my video on my channel that I made yesterday. I think it's called All EZA Jiren Event Details or something to that effect. So it's there if you want to check it out. Alright, number 4, Supreme Challenge Battle, Special Missions. This is basically some more daily missions that allow us to get more Dragon Stones every single day. So that is always, always welcome. Number 5, a new special event is here. So Leave It To Us Little Rangers is essentially a new event that allows us to farm a completely free to play Trunks, Goten, and Marin, and also get them to 100% for free because they have their own unique orbs. And honestly, they're actually a pretty cool and pretty solid free to play unit, so I'm really down for that. That's awesome. Number 6, Worldwide Celebration Special Missions Part 2. More special missions for more free stones, more Kai's, and some trading items. Pretty standard. Number 7, as expected, we got more Dragonstone sales. <sighs> the sales this time around were not as good as part 1, but they're still solid. 32 stones for over 50% off, you can buy that 3 times, and 91 stones for over 20% off for 5 times. And there also is an image of a purple Dragonstone, which I don't really understand because the last time I checked in the shop, there were these discount packs, but there wasn't a purple dragonstone pack like the 100 stones plus the purple dragonstone so I don't really know why it's a purple dragonstone there maybe they plan to add it a little bit later on but yeah dragonstone sales on the way or already here I guess number eight fight the fate of the universe is in your hands Facebook campaign is now on interesting thing is that they say it is now on but it says also that it starts on September 17th which is in like four or five days so I don't really know what that means, um, and I have no idea what the actual Facebook campaign entails. Probably just a you know, kind of comment or like thing, or maybe you have to answer a question. I don't really know, but probably more free stones, maybe some summoning tickets, things like that. And uh, yeah, cool. Number 9, Legendary Summon is on, and it starts tomorrow. Tomorrow night probably around 10.30 Eastern or Pacific Standard Time. So yeah, guys, <laughs> I mean, these guys are hype. These guys are hype. You ha if you've seen their super attacks, if you've seen their stats, their skills, things like that, they are basically, I think, the unanimous decision for now the best card in the entire game. Just unfortunately, their banner isn't the greatest, and you guys can find out more about their banners in the video I made yesterday as well. So yeah, basically it's a summon at your own risk kind of thing. Of course, you have a chance to pull this amazing fire ass unit, but at the same time, you could also get shafted and you know, the other future units aren't that great. So yeah, I personally am going to be summoning for it, but I don't necessarily recommend free to play players to spend too many stones on it. Maybe just do a multi or two, test your luck and then, you know, call it a day. Start saving for the next Dokkan Fest, which a lot of people, including myself, believe it's going to be Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, who is freaking awesome. So yeah, there's that. Let me know in the comments down below actually if you guys plan to summon for the LR and how many stones do you plan to spend. Number 10, new stage of Dokkan event Boss Rush available. This is Boss Rush, Boss Rush 6, and we can get 35 free stones for that. Number 11, uh, so basically number 11 and number 12 are two returning uh, Universe Survival Saga events. And if you guys need you know, medals and things like that from these events, then it's going to be really awesome for you. And we also have a new Universe Survival Saga event as well, where we can get 
a uh, we can farm basically Android 17s and Android 18s to farm the super attack of all your other Android 17s and Android 18s. Number 14. Oh, and also more free stones, of course, <laughs> and more free stones for this event too. Number 14 is Universe 6 Saga event returning, and number 15 is a Elder Kai banner where you can get 5 Elder Kais for 25 stones, you can probably pull on it like 4 times or so. But honestly, at this point, I don't know if anyone really needs more Elder Kais, so it's probably going to be a skip for most people. If for some reason you really, really need those Elder Kais, then I guess go for it. It's not a bad deal, but at this point, like I said, uh, you know, most people shouldn't be needing Elder Kai's. And if we go below here, these are all the things for part one, so that's none of our concern anymore. Okay, number two, this is the co-op campaign, basically the Super Shenron, Super Dragon Ball campaign. And essentially, it's all of us working together to complete certain missions or meet certain milestones. And then for each of the milestones that we hit, we will be getting a Dragon Ball, which will lead to rewards for that specific Dragon Ball. So for the first part, we're actually fighting Jiren. So he starts off at 30 million HP. And uh, basically, beating him will allow us to get... This is kind of weird, it's like a weird glitch going on over here, but doesn't matter, we're going to press on. Uh, the first four Dragon Balls are for fighting Jiren, and I believe the way it works is that for every level that we clear, like basically if I clear one level, then his HP will go down by one, and cumulatively, if we all clear 30 million levels of his Extreme Z battle event, then he will die, and we'll get these four Dragon Balls. So for 75%, or lower, lowering Jiren's HP to 75%, we'll get five stones and three Kai's. I don't know if it's like three Kai's of a specific type or three of each type. Not really sure about that one. If we lower him to 50% HP, it's five stones and three Kai's. 25% uh, HP is five stones, three Kai's. And then if we defeat him, completely lower his HP to zero, it's gonna be 10 stones and 777 incredible gems. For the 5-star Dragon Ball and the 6-star Dragon Ball, it's going to be related to this new free-to-play Trunks, Goten, and Marin. So if you recruit, basically farm 8.5 million total copies of this card, we will get the 5-star Dragon Ball, get 5 stones, 3 Kai's. And then for number 6, 6-star Dragon Ball, we have to activate 200,000 of these guys, 200%, basically rainbow 200,000 copies of this card right here, and it's going to be 5 stones and 3 Kai's. And last but not least, oh, the cool thing is also, there's going to be a counter for uh, each of these things, and the Dragon Ball will become filled in once we meet each of these conditions. And for the last Dragon Ball, we have to clear 100 million quest or event stages, and for that we'll get 5 Dragon Ball, or 5 Dragon Balls, 5 Dragon Stones, and I believe this is 30 character slots. So overall, it's a solid amount of rewards, it's about, I believe it says 40 stones. Uh, so Okay, it doesn't matter. I, I believe it's around 40 stones, and you know, it's, it's not a bad campaign at all. I think we're gonna hit all of them. I think these are designed really to for us to be able to beat them, but some people are gonna be disappointed because it doesn't seem like there's actually any kind of wish associated with it. It's not like after we collect the seven balls, we will get a wish or anything like that. You know, like, like I, I've read through it in detail, I'm pretty sure, and it doesn't say anything about getting a wish at the end of it. I think it's just these rewards that each Dragon Ball is tied to. So yeah, you know, some people were like, maybe we'll get, you know, a free LR, or maybe we'll get like, you know, the reset of the story, complete reset of the storyline, or something, but uh, yeah, that's that doesn't seem like it's happening, so it's just gonna be these rewards, unfortunately. But that's not bad though, like I'm not complaining, and I hope you guys are satisfied as well. But yeah, that's that that is what it is. Alright, uh Supreme Challenge Battle Special Missions, basically daily missions. There's gonna be oh actually wait. Oh yeah, no, no, it's daily missions. So there's gonna be five daily missions, consume 20 stamina, win extreme Z battle once, three times, five times, and get stronger by training. And by completing these missions, every single day we'll get 10 stones a day for seven days for a total of 70 stones. And if you guys are curious, I'll do a final tally of all the stones we're getting for the second part of the anniversary, or not anniversary, the celebration, at least based on my rough, you know, quick calculations. So if you're interested in that, I'll do it at the end of the video. Um Okay, Extreme Z battle for Jiren, and it essentially tells us that we will be fighting Jiren, and you can't use support items, and the different types will be Super Tech for levels 1 to 10, Super Fit Supi, 
Yo, soupy fit strength type. <laughs> you know what? Yo, 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 this is literally unplayable. This game is literally unplayable because of this typo. We need 300 stone compensation right now. <laughs> Guys, go spam bandit, right? I'm just kidding. Don't do it. Don't do it. But yeah, soupy strength battle, uh, strength type, uh, levels 11 to 30, and level 31 and above, you'll become super physical. And between levels 1 to 50, you get potential orbs of each type, and between levels 51 to 100, you get Sleepy Kai's. And above that, we get Sacred Water of each type, basically a training item. And that is pretty- oh, also you get some Dragonstones for basically two missions, but clearing level 50 and clearing level 100 will give you five Dragonstones in total, I believe. And that's pretty much it. More details in the video on my channel, like I said, that I made yesterday. So, going in depth about this little new event with the Little Rangers. You get this new farmable free-to-play card, and yeah, oh, you can also get one total dragon snow <laughs> for clearing this entire event. Um, so you know what? I'm not gonna complain. It, they could have given us no dragon stones, I guess. These are the special missions, and these are, I believe, so these are all for part one, and for part two, we got some more missions, basically for activating 25 nodes in a hidden potential. We can get a ton of potential orbs. Get some uh, reversal, what do you call these, hourglasses, sleepy kais, but the most important thing, the thing that I think most people really care about are these 29 stones that we can get, two for activating 100% of a character's hidden potential. So basically the new, you know, free to play Marin, Trunks, and Goten, that could be the card that you get these stones for. And uh, this one, I believe it is clearing a Extreme Z battle event under 2 minutes and 50 seconds. And lastly, when you finish all of these missions, you will get the 25 stones at the end as a big major bonus, I guess. New um, story event over here. Is there any extra details that I haven't talked about yet? Not really. We get 18 stones in total because there's 9 stages and you get 2 stones for each stage for clearing each difficulty. There is a new uh, Int Android 17 and a new AGL Int Android 18 and you can use these to farm up the, the super attacks of all your other Android 17s and Android 18s that you have in your box currently. And oh, you can also get some medals to awaken this Tech Android and also this uh, Tech well, tech Android 17 and Tech Android 18. Also, Rebrianne, we're getting a Rebrianne and you can get Dokkan Awakened with these medals too. And that is pretty much it. Well, oh, oh, also, Universe Survival Saga characters will give you a boost in terms of getting drops on these stages. So, yeah, okay. That's all the details for that. And I think that might be it, guys. I think that might be it for all the news. Yep, that's all the news. So, as promised, I'm going to do a little breakdown for you guys of the total Dragonstones that you can expect to get for free for the second part of the 250 million download celebration because I know a lot of people are going to be asking this and I just want to put it out there right now so that I don't have to answer each comment in the comment section down below. Of course, I could be slightly off because I did this literally just like visually and I did it in like, you know, two minutes. So it could be slightly off, but I have a fair amount of confidence that it is at least close to being accurate. So for daily missions, we're getting 70 stones, that would be the 10 stones per day that I was talking about before. And uh, for daily login bonus, there are still 21 days left in the login bonus for the for the celebration. And basically it's 2 stones per day for a total of 42 stones for that. For special missions, I just did a tally of all the different things, that's 44 stones. For the story with the uh, new Universe Survival Saga story as well as the Little Ranger story, that's 19 stones. For the co-op challenge, it is 40 stones. And for the final, for the new boss rush stage, that's 35 stones. Now, there's also the Facebook campaign, which is a bit of a question mark because there's literally no details about it that I know about right now. So, you know, I'm not going to include any stones for that. But if you add up everything else that I talked about, uh, you know, up to this point, it's going to be a total of 250 free stones that we can expect minimum for the 250 million down celebration part two. And that's a good amount of stones. That's actually a significant amount of stones. You can either use those for the upcoming LR banner, or you can actually save those. You know, it can be smart and save them for the upcoming Dokkan Fest on Global as well. Of course, if you're on JP, I mean, you can still save it up for the upcoming hit or whatever is coming up next. So, 
yeah, it's totally up to you on how you want to spend those stones, but it is enough for at least five full price multis, which is awesome. And like I said, the Facebook campaign could still give us more. We could still get more top grossing stones as well. So let's say that the Facebook campaign gives us like 30 stones, top grossing gives us another like 21, 20 plus stones. You know, that could easily be over 300 stones, but to be conservative, I'm going to say at least 250 free stones for the second part of the celebration. And uh, yeah, that's your answer right there. So that's all the news for today, guys. Hope you guys found it useful. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And also hit that notification bell because YouTube can be pretty dumb sometimes and they won't remind you guys if I have a new upload. So if you wanna keep, keep up to date with all of my new content, then make sure that notification bell has been clicked. But that's all from me for today. Hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. <laughs>